viewers, my name is Spencer Strider, most of you may know me by the name of Lifestealer58, and welcome back to Community Minecraft Adventure 2.0. I forgot to turn on my HUD, and I haven't recorded an episode of this in forever, and this is actually the, my first video of the new year posting. And uh, as you can see, uh, we are literally in the middle of a forest, but you're not just going to see a forest in this entire episode. We're actually going to modify this just a little bit, not too, too much, but a little bit to make it into a PVP type of area. So I kind of uh, already kind of started spawns, at least what I want the spawn to kind of look like. And as you can see, this is it. I really just want something extremely simple. And on the inside, you just go in and fight. That's all it is. And if you come over all the way around here we have the other spawn so there's going to be eight sides four on uh the like middle parts of each side and four on the corners individual corners i should say so this is going to look really cool i believe and we're going to mainly focus on the entrances or slash the what's the word i guess the entrances yeah we'll call it the entrances the spawns would probably be the more logical term but we're going to go with that so let's just get this started so we are going to have to modify this slightly one second so we're just going to remove all this stuff here okay and then just move it here because i don't want something really uh super complex just yet just due to the fact that we don't need it to be complex so we're just going to do this just so we can figure out a layout we're just going to do the layout for, of the wall here because we're going to actually have saplings here and i'll explain why we'll have saplings in a bit once we actually start placing them shout out to lucas b the one one three six or is it what? Oh, Lucas Bet. I don't, or I still don't remember his name. Cause like it, it's hard to read for me sometimes, you know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe not. But oh well, it's for me. It's a little hard. So my bad if I screwed up your name. Uh, we actually want it up one forward, like this, and then we want it on the edge, blurry. Let's remove this because we don't need that anymore. And uh. Grab the oak wood. There we go. Okay, so we have that done. We need to do the corners. I believe the corner is just pretty simple. We just do like three, uh, three oak wood right on the edge. Yep, right here. So we're going to mine this. And then we're going to have right smack dab on the corner here. Something like that. Like that. And like that. All right, there we go. That's simple and easy. Come over here so we can get the other middle part. And I'll explain why I'm doing this. This will make more sense in the end, uh, like I said. Okay, so we want to remove all this. We want to move one, two. Oh, I forgot that this is the center. So wait a minute. Yeah, we still need to do the same amount. So one, two, three. So we want one, two, and then the third one right here to wrap the outer rim. And then we do the same thing on this side. This is a tree, so this is going to be kind of confusing. Maybe I'll chop this down. Let's chop it down just so we don't get super duper confused. Move all this. Okay. Now we do the same thing. I use these as indicators for the middle, by the way, in case you haven't figured that out yet. And then we do that. So we'll modify the actual platforms later by, again, I just want to get the layout down. And we go all the way around here and go up here. Do this corner right here this one's simple so go here like like this like uh get rid of this this i believe this i'm not too worried about the corners due to the fact that uh the corners are actually not going to really interfere with the what it looks like i just want to make sure i have a layout and we can always modify it in case i'm wrong Okay, so we want right in front of here, we want one, two, three, and on the edge, as always, we have this, one, two, find this, one, two, three, plop, do, 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 remove this, we don't want the centerpiece. I believe we have one more corner, which I'm not actually going to worry about too much. All right, so as I said, this is like a PvP area. So now that we have the corners done, I'm going to explain a little bit because I kind of needed to focus a bit on that. Let me explain what this whole area is. I really want a bunch of different PvP type of things with different like hazards or different, uh, 
you know, pathways or different challenges, I guess. You know, for the ice battle arena thing, which maybe I'll show a clip here if I can find one or decide to record one. As you can see, it's pretty small and, you know, one of the main hazards of that was the ice and, you know, it was slippery and all that stuff. Oh, what's this stuff? This is, oh, this is really old stuff. Okay, that actually might be useful though. I actually need these saplings. But as you rem may remember, one of the things about that was the ice was slippery and it kind of made it a little awkward to move and stuff. Well, this one is mainly focused on just terrain and the environment and it's pretty large it's not just a square like it is and then for the snow battle arena or whatever you want to call it i actually wanted to make it a lot bigger but due to the fact that you couldn't extend the world back at that time and plus it just would have looked weird i actually could not so i was required to stay, keep it at that size so it was really unfortunate but what you gonna do okay so now is gonna be kind of the tricky part so instead of just building a straight up cobblestone fence, I think it would look really nice and really cool to have like trees right in front of the fence to grow and so uh, we can use that as barricades. So right now I'm just kind of kind of spam saplings and hope for the best. So if, if I decide I don't like this, then hey, at least I'll get a ton of wood from it. So we'll do here and here. And I have a whatchamacallit in here, an ender chest right here. And I'm going to grab I left my saplings at the wrong place. Oh my word. Alright, well I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, I have now returned with some saplings. Jeez Louise, I was, I'm very irritated by that. But let's get right back into it. So obviously there's some spots like here we don't really need many saplings. Here's the entrance so we don't really need some that many I should say. So we'll put one there and then we'll put one right here. Here we'll need quite a bit. And the thing about oak saplings that's actually really interesting is they're one of not all tree saplings can actually grow right next to each other like oak saplings can. And uh, oak saplings will just grow right into places. They don't actually always just stay a sapling if something's blocking them, uh, which is very convenient. And I just think, like I said, it would be really cool to make walls and stuff out of. So right now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically make a giant wall, but we're going to have to be patient for the wall to be built. Uh, we're going to remove this real quick so i originally was going to uh make a different video than what's actually you're currently watching i was actually going to do a road to not a road i don't i didn't come up with the final name of it but basically just achieving the platinum in minecraft playstation 4 and uh, to your surprise maybe uh i actually haven't completed minecraft playstation 4 platinum before and uh i recorded an episode and i got some trophies done and stuff but after editing the episode, I just said to myself, this is going to be a really crappy video if I post it. So I decided to not post it, and I might, I will probably still try and do a series like that. I'm just not going to do post that episode because that episode was just garbage, to be honest. Uh, and so, yeah, that's why you're getting this. But in the future, I am going to have that. And also, I want to talk about some other ideas. Again, these are just like ideas. These haven't been made. I haven't made any progress in them. They're just, you know, random thoughts floating around my head. But as I said in the new year, new channel, quote unquote, uh, I want to basically do new content as in general. And I actually have a skit idea that is actually real life footage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the reason why I made that noise is because, uh, well, I haven't done anything in real life before. But I have some skit ideas, mainly this one is kind of like a more darker theme and I don't want to say what the storyline is or anything, but I don't know, it's kind of, it's definitely going to be way out there because it's actually going to be like actual acting in real life and stuff that I've never really done before, but this is just an idea floating around my head. I have some like maybe skit, funny skit ideas, but you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. Let's look around here. Uh, so actually, I kind of like the way this looks right here i really like these trees combining so actually let's remove some of this and we don't need that directly behind we'll do that and we'll remove some of this there's just something nice about that i don't know why that looks so cool but it does all right so we're gonna leave that there let's uh continue it here though like that then just go all the way around let's finish these last eight there's a tree here, so we don't really need much coverage here. Let's do it in between here a little bit. Have to keep in mind. I don't want it to be claustrophobic. Because over here, it's very crowded with trees, and there's a lot of barricades. Like, if you're over here, you, you don't see that much of a fence. 
over here well obviously there's a giant wall but like you're not going to be paying attention to like oh there's a weird fence here so i want to cover up some of it and this is a spawn so we don't need a ton here let's just do that on the other side where we started there was a lot of empty gaps let's do this this is pretty crowded so we don't really need too many trees here let's just loop around uh no pretty crowded basically how i'm analyzing this is is there shade if there's shade then that means we don't need much detail because there's already trees here there's not much shade here so let's just do a little wall here like that this is the entrance so i don't want to overcrowd it shady here let's go around here uh this could use some some trees very shady here no need uh over here, we could use a sapling or two. Let's remove this so I can actually crawl up. Yeah, so it's just more fun building with different items or different challenges. And I've never actually built like a tree wall before. If you want a really simple house and you've mined a bunch of wood, just place tree saplings and it'll build walls for you. It would look kind of weird, but it would actually look kind of cool because it would be unique. Uh, we don't really need that there. Just need some of this. Actually, I'm probably going to calm down with some of the saplings. Now that I think about it, because if you think about it, I really want to just a straight all around wall, but we already have so many trees on the edge that maybe I might not need to do that. Let's climb back up here so we can continue mining this. I want to try, oh, I don't want to use the pickaxe, but I'm too lazy to switch. Okay. Uh, go grab my axe, chop that down. Uh, we need a pickaxe for cobblestone, believe it or not. Let's check on these trees. Oh, they are growing. Yeah, there's one in the middle there. Um, yeah, let's place a, a couple more saplings around here. And again, like I said, the amount of trees over here is way less, and it looks like a lot right now because we've had some trees grow here, but is way less than, uh, over there. So that's why I'm kind of worried. And over here, you have more landscaping, so it's not very necessary. So yeah, now we just kind of need to wait for the trees to grow. So, yeah, now... What I'm going to do is, since we are waiting on that, is we're going to finish the spawns. So let's go over here. So this is what the spawn looks like right here. So I just want to kind of take like a mental image of that. And we're just going to go over to the one that we started. And uh, go finish it. We're going to do the middle parts first. Oh, as you can see, we're getting a ton of trees now. Uh, and then we do this. So one, two. I'm gonna have to modify the landscape a bit. I'm probably only gonna do a few of these because it would be very repetitive, obviously, if I were to do, you know, all of them on this episode. So on my own time, I'll probably do two just so you guys can get the idea and feel. Because what I like to do, as always, I've said this a lot, but, you know, just for the newcomers, I like to work on one thing, or I like to work on something, and if it's repetitive... Something isn't right here. And if it's repetitive, then uh, do it just once. Oh, it's not right because the center is different. That's why. So what we need is... Uh, it's weirding me out. One sec. Uh, so we need two on each side so we need it to be like this i believe like that and then like that yeah that's right and then that would give us five and this is like kind of like a semicircle. now we just fill all this with planks and then do that that looks about right it's kind of a sloppy circle but again it looks kind of sloppy because of the dimensions because if this was two blocks instead of a one block entrance where it was in the center uh it would look more even and would look more nicer this is why the circle looks kind of just to be honest weird so the center point would be right here this would be the center of the circle and then it would close around uh the entire thing but since we're doing a semicircle, since this is kind of like the entrance of the uh I don't know what to call it. I'm just referring to it as arena, even though I know it's not an arena. But still, we're going to do that. All right. Checking out the trees. Kind of crazy to walk around here now. I'd be surprised if these trees grow. 
We don't really need these actually here. Or here actually. We have enough coverage. I don't care if people see a wall. I just don't want it to be like blatantly obvious. Oh look, here's a wall. This is kind of obvious, but the landscape makes it kind of hard uh, to hide it. So yeah. All right, here we are at the other one. Let's parkour over here and then we'll do the same thing. So this one is going to be much easier though because it actually is an entrance like this where it's two by two. So that's good. And we're going to have one here. And we're going to go one, two, three. That's two. That's three. That's four. And then there's that. I feel like I messed up the dimension somehow. What did I do wrong? One. One. Two. Is that right? This has to. Oh, I started. I started one block. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's an easy fix, thankfully. But I started one block to the right. My bad. That's an easy fix, though. Thankfully, I can just do that in a breeze. Right, we want to start here, right? Yeah, here. One, two, and a corner piece. And then we want to do the four. Remove this. One, two, three, four. And then do that. And then that should be good after we remove this block. Nice. And again, we're going to modify the landscape so it looks uh, more natural and doesn't look as weird. I don't think we will need to do much modification, though, because it will just make it more... If it looks weird, then it makes it more obvious that, hey, this is where you start. So I'm not too worried about making it like pretty and uh, natural looking, I guess. Just for the fact that, hey, if it's really, you know, popping up, that means, hey, it's obvious to find the thing. Sometimes it's good to be blatantly obvious uh, where something is, in my opinion. Okay, we're just going to do that. It doesn't matter if there's anything covering underneath there. There's that circle. Okay, and then let's go around to the other side. Over here. Like I said, we'll be working on the corners eventually. All the way over here. Right here. Okay. So like I said, this one is the awkward one because it's not, it doesn't have the double entrance thing. So we're going to have, we're going to do this one actually slightly differently. I think. We're going to do three. And then two. Not that. And then two. And we're going to have the one sticking out to represent, represent the middle. Okay, then we're going to do one, two, and then do two more here. And that's it. Now we just fill it up with planks, which is easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, we have 37. That should be simple. Yeah, I don't like the way the circle looks, but unless we modify the entire thing, uh, it's going to have to stay this way whether I like it or not. Okay, so we have these saplings here. And it, see, like, look at this. No saplings need to be placed here because it's so hidden. All right, go over here. We did that one, and then we did this corner. So now I want to take a look at this corner because this cor the corners are a little odd to do because you start off with an actual corner of a circle. It's very obvious that this is a circle, as you can tell, but we start off with a circle, and then we use the corner piece as the entrance, and then we just use these pressure plates here. So starting, for whatever reason, I have a trouble... I have trouble starting a circle. Uh, let me just take one more image of that. Actually, here's a tip for all you Minecraft people. Take a screenshot of something. Actually, let me get a better picture. Take a screenshot of... Uh, take a screenshot of the thing that you're trying to replicate or build or the dimensions. Okay, and then whenever you're confused, if you ever are, you can just look at your screenshot and be like, Oh, that's what I did. So yeah, that's why I, I do that a lot and it's actually really useful. Not only is it good for thumbnails, it's good for remembering your stupidity. <laughs> remembering what your stupidity is, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me give me just a sec. Alright, so this is the corner, so this was done correctly. Uh, then we want to do four here. Uh, let me grab this. We no longer need an end stress. So one, two, three, four do that and then one two three four and then do a corner piece then one two three four corner piece 
And if I did this correctly, we should add three more blocks and it should be a full circle. Which we did. Nice. Alright, now we need to remove these trees, unfortunately. Uh, just chop this down. Extra wood. We can't go wrong with extra wood. Mine this. Get up here. And then mine this birch tree here. So it uh, disintegrates. What's the word? Deteriorates, I believe. I think that's the word I'm looking for whenever a tree basically dies. Okay, um, then we just want to grab our shovel, mine one block so we can uh, make the plank floor. Like that. Alright, now make planks, obviously. We have plenty. And we're just going to fill it up. Easy as that. Uh, oh yes, we got a sapling that will really actually be useful. Yeah, so I didn't near, need nearly as many saplings as I expected, which is quite, quite nice. But we'll see how it looks. I'm kind of worried it's going to look really bad. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, well, that's the excitement. That's the interesting thing of this build. Oh, look at this. Jeez. Wait, why? No, I placed him in the corner. No, shoot. No, 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 no. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. We don't want them in the corner. I don't know why I was thinking of doing that. Oh, that's actually... I'm going to have to cut this down now. That's huge. Huge mistake by my part. But as you can see, it kind of makes a wall. All right, well, I'll deal with that on my own time. I just want to make sure I destroy any other saplings so I don't need to deal with more trees. There you go. I think even this one can be removed. Yeah, I feel like these saplings are actually going to be a little excessive. I probably will need to go around and modify it, but on my own time. As always, uh, there we are. So, right here, we're supposed to move it forward one. The corner piece should match up with this. That's a big mistake. I'm not going to fix that. I'll fix that on my own time. Like I said, I don't want to waste your guys' time by me fixing something that could take like two minutes. One thing that I've noticed, one thing that I strive to do whenever I make Minecraft videos is not waste time because my, believe it or not, you waste a lot of time in Minecraft if you make a mistake or do something very repetitive and stuff. And I remember specifically this one YouTuber who I was kind of a fan of uh, and started watching his videos. He released a Minecraft video and he only uploads videos that are about like 10 minutes long. So they weren't super lengthy videos or anything like that. Um, but within the time span of 10 minutes, I don't want to do the corner like I said. Actually, I do want to do the corner. Is this the actual corner though? Where's the fence? I'm so confused. What happened to the fence? Oh, it's I'm confused because of the trees. Anyways though, this guy uploaded 10 minute videos and um, I watched the 10 minute video and in the 10 minutes what happened was he died, he burned his stuff in lava and after mining for a bit at the beginning of the video. And then he recollected his stuff, and then he ended the video. He literally did nothing except die and recollect stuff, and that was a whole ten minute video. And it, it was funny is he actually said that, uh, like, thanks for watching, and he kind of laughed because he knew that it was pretty much a pointless episode. But once I saw that and saw just like, really, I wasted ten minutes of my life literally watching you die and recollect your stuff. I, I said to myself, if I were to ever make a YouTube channel, I'm never going to waste time doing that. If I die, I'm going to have to put in extra work. Huh. Interesting. I don't usually get notifications from communities. So, uh, yeah. And fun fact, I think that was actually my very last video of ever watching from that YouTuber because I was so like, really? That's how you're going to post a video? If it was like... If it was a 30 minute video and he did 10 minutes of it recollecting his stuff, dying, and then did more stuff, okay, fine, maybe that's all right. But t taking a t whole 10 minute video to show a minute or two of mining, dying to lava, losing our stuff, and then recollecting your stuff, and then you call that a video, it's just, I, th I honestly think it's kind of honestly disrespectful to people viewing the video. I don't know. I, I, I was unnecessarily salty, I'm aware, but like, I don't know. I, that's basically why I don't like wasting time. As I said, this will probably be removed. Actually, it doesn't need to be. I'll put ladders on the side of it. One, two, three. That's two. I'm going to need a lot of wood. Hopefully I have more. Is that three or four? That's three. All right. And a corner piece right here. And then we want uh, 
to chop this down because this is kind of in the way. Spruce trees would have been useful. I could have probably made a mixture of spruce trees inside the PvP area. But too late for that now. Alright. Simple because it's flat land, thankfully. Jeez Louise. Is that four? Yep, that's four. Corner piece here. And I messed something up. What did I mess up? This is four. That's the corner. And there's another one that's supposed to be here. Right? And then this is supposed to be the four. Wait, did I just play? I just play spruce wood. Please tell me I have more oak. Okay, good, I do. Um, one, two, three. Oh, I see. Yeah, I just wasn't counting correctly. All right, do that. And then do that. Okay, so now since we have the walls, we just need the planks, which I have some. Let me just remove some of these leaves to speed up the process. I'm going to start with this side of filling up the planks just to the fact that this is more steeper and just more annoying to work around. I'd rather work on completely flat land or flatter land than just something steep like this hill here. So just fill this up. And make a few more planks. that and then mine this and then we have the corner done so this is how the corner is supposed to look because you're supposed to have it right on the edge here and again i don't know why i play saplings in the corner we i just need to go around here and destroy some of the saplings <laughs> apparently because we have enough trees let's check out on how it looks though before i decide to doing that it still hasn't fully grown yet but we started over here yeah look at this it's like it literally makes a barricade that's what it looks like when all the trees grow next to each other. Which I think is actually kind of cool. It looks more like a hedge, though, than a bunch of trees. Weird. I actually don't mind that, but it's not necessary. I did in this corner. Wait, why is there vines? This must be a bug. I've noticed vines randomly growing on oak trees recently. Weird. Yeah, I don't mind the way this looks. But I don't think it. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I think we can cool it with some of these. Like that. Spread it out a bit more, maybe. Like that. Well, viewers, that is going to wrap up this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, what we accomplished is making the tree walls, sort of, and building the spawn areas. In the next episode, I'm going to finish the spawn areas on my own time again because I don't like wasting time redoing the same thing over and over and over again. And we're going to check and see how the tree walls are doing um, to the next episode. I mean, like, I'll show you guys in the next episode. And then we'll pretty much be done. This is a very simple build, which I like. Uh, it doesn't require much complexity or much uh, effort because, well, look around. You already have all the effort done for you. I have all the landscape and uh, the lakes and stuff, you know? So it's pretty easy design. But, yeah, I'm hoping to be done by two ep uh, next episode, so the total of this project taking two. Uh, but who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. Anyways, though, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you later.